coach uh, came down to fundamentals at the yes. end. Uh, seven free throws over the final like minute and a half to kind of break that tie there and win. Let's talk about this full, you know, 40 minute game. Hey. Winning's more fun than losing, obviously. Everybody knows that. Uh, we had two games where we had some late game situations, which you'd love not to be able to get to that situation, but realistically, you know that's going to happen over the course of the season. We haven't had a lot of those type of um, game so even though we lost on Friday the one silver lining in it for me was he executed some things down the stretch that we hadn't run all year long and you're always curious how they're going to do it you know under the lights rather than in practice so that was a good sign uh, you know for the future and then tonight same thing we did a pretty good job of, of, of staying with the game plan and understanding time and score and executing um, some things we we're trying to do so um you know, glad to to have the response um, that we had after last night's game. Coach, you guys hanging your hat on your defense there down the stretch that uh, as opposed to, you know, be holding on to that lead is something that, you know, old reliable there on the defensive side of the basketball. You know, I, I told the guys, you know, since last night's game, you know, the spies lose it. Okay? Just, obviously, everybody doesn't like to lose, but some good things in the game. I thought we played harder for longer stretches of the game. It was more of not playing as smart as we need to be. We were not controlling our aggression. Uh, we were so caught up in just trying to make a play and, and we blow a defensive assignment. Um, and, and we certainly went over all those clips today and tried to get them to understand that, hey, we certainly got to play really, really hard, but you know, you don't have to make hero plays on the defensive end. We need you to do your job, kind of a mentality. And um, tonight at first glance, um, the things that we really focused on, they got it into the game. You know, our ball screen coverage at the point of attack was much better with our foot angles, what we were trying to accomplish defensively. And then guarding the ball out front, you know, we had a bunch of breakdowns last night, just silly ones where guys were just getting in our bodies, getting angles early and, and out front of the scoring area. and made us pay for it and we didn't have a lot of that tonight. So uh, again, we're sick and tired of the, the Friday, Saturday deal. And, but at the same time, you know, I think we're getting better. I think we're getting better. And um, you know, we've still got um, weeks, not days to uh, try to be our best uh, when everybody wants to be their best. Any other questions for Coach here, guys? Coach, I'll throw one more at you here. Uh, you, we don't know if you're going to be playing any more home games there at Eastwood, I guess, but, you know, throw it out. You, four games in the book in the high school gym there. Did it start to feel like home, I guess, after after four games? The people of Eastwood have been awesome. Uh, Coach Gomez and Coach Morales have, have treated us so well. We're very appreciative of everybody that had a hand in helping uh, the Aggies make this happen. Um, I mean, just being honest with you, I mean, it doesn't feel like home. I mean, it just doesn't. You know, walking up these stairs, it's, it's nothing walking out of the Pan Am Tunnel in preparation for a big game and big crowd and, and our fan base is awesome as they are. It's, it's just, it's different. It's just different. And I'm sure it's different for, for the guys. You know, there's no band, there's no spirit squad, there's no cheer squad, there's no fans uh, for our quote unquote home games. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, you've got to deal with it. But uh, most importantly, the, the people here have been over the backwards for us, and we're very appreciative of what they've done for us uh, in time of need. And, and just just from watching these games, too, I mean, obviously, in a, it, in a neutral site for both you guys, uh, the high leverage games, you know, two games, you know, down to the wire in the final few minutes, the last couple ones, it kind of felt like a postseason kind of atmosphere in a gym where, you know, neither of you guys necessarily call home any part of your mind thinking that, you know, that, Hey, looking back at these games or at these, these gyms, it'll, it'll help you for the conference tournament. Maybe. Maybe, um, you know, every game is an opportunity to get better, you know, with our lack of game experience, uh, every game is huge, you know, to see how much progress we're making to learn from our mistakes, to grow and get better. And, um, you know, we're not going to be able to reach all of our goals this year. There's goals out there that we have for every season that, We've been reaching them, most of them, to be honest with you, since we've arrived, except for the big ones in the NCAA tournament. And um, 
it's something we're not accustomed to. We don't like it. Pretty irritated, let's put it mildly on where we're at. But at the same time, you know, you've got to own it. We're not accepting it. But you got to own it. And you can't lay on the ground and feel sorry for yourself. You've got to keep fighting and scratching and clawing and figure out ways to get better from me to the staff, to the managers, to the players. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. And we're going to keep fighting and we're going to keep uh, having our head in the right place and uh, try to get better for, for uh, this coming weekend.